in the previous video, I talked about the journal writing section from the essay, Where Do We Stand? Where I focused about the concept of free writing and I assigned you to write freely for 10 minutes on the topic of nonverbal communication. Now in this video, I want to focus on the topic, previewing the topic. You know, a reading has three steps. Reading is a process. Writing is also a process. So reading as a, th as a process has three steps. The first step in the process of reading is known as the pre-reading step. What you do before you actually start a reading. Let's ask Gemini to help us in this regard and see what Gemini has got to tell us. Wait a minute. Okay. Can you tell me something about reading as a process? And let's see what Gemini says. So a reading is more than just understanding words on a page. It's a cognitive process of understanding which involves many stages. One is decoding. As you read, you have to recognize letters, words, and sentences, and you have to translate the written language into spoken words into your mind. Second is comprehension. As you read the words and decode the meaning of the words, you need to understand the direct and indirect meaning of the words on the page. So you have to connect one word with the word before it and with words that come after it. You have to connect the word with the sentence and you have to make sense of the overall message of the sentence. As you read, uh, you should be able to read smoothly, correctly, without stumbling over words. You should be able to understand as you read, and you should be able to focus on the meaning as you read. In the same way, as you read, you must be able to apply the information to your experience or the knowledge you have. This may involve making connections between different ideas. This may involve drawing conclusions, right? And evaluating the arguments that the reader makes in the text. The key factors which shape a reading process are the knowledge that you bring to the lesson. For example, you have studied English up to grade 12. Now you are studying English in BBA, BBIS. Now your knowledge of English that you gained up to 12, that will be the prior knowledge, existing knowledge, which you will bring to understand the essays and text in your BBA English course. Second, there should be motivation, you know, you should be interested in reading. If you have no interest in reading and if I force you to read, then it, you won't enjoy reading. Third, there are techniques of reading. There are strategies like predicting, questioning, summarizing, paraphrasing, etc. There are techniques of reading. You should know these techniques. And there are also text difficulties as you read, for example, vocabulary, sentence structure, and content. All these influence your ability to read. Let me ask another question to Gemini. What are free reading activities? And let's see what Gemini says. Okay. Pre-reading activities are strategies used to prepare students for reading a text 
and enhance their understanding. Pre-reading activities help to activate your prior knowledge and build background information about the topic on which you are going to read and they create interest in the topic. So some common pre-reading activities are the KWL chart. What is KWL chart? K stands for no, W stands for want to know, and L stands for what they learn of reading. Let me read the whole sentence. This chart helps students organize their knowledge about a topic by asking them what they know. K means what they already know. W means what they want to know. And L means what they learned after reading. You make a chart and you write what you already know about how people use space in public conversation. Then you write what do you want to know about how people use space in public conversation. Then you write what did you learn about how people use space in conversation after reading Lisa Davies essay? Then you have vocabulary preview. Uh, the writers may introduce you uh, uh, particular vocabularies, words which are related to the lesson or essay before you read the essay. Once you know the word meanings, you will be easily you will easily understand the reading. Then there are graphic organizers like visual aids like diagrams, charts, timelines. They can help you organize information and visualize the content. In the same way, you have discussion questions like posing questions about the text before reading can encourage students to think critically and make predictions. For example, before you read Lisa Davies' essay, you may pose some questions about uh, public use of space in conversation. Anticipation guides. These guides present statements related to the text and students indicate whether they agree or disagree. In a while you will see there are statements about this essay and you have to write whether you agree or disagree also in a while. Then the picture work. If the text has illustrations, pictures, you can examine those pictures and discuss their possible meanings. Then read aloud. Reading a portion of the text aloud can help you get a sense of the author's style and tone. Let me take you to the text now. Previewing the topic. Let's read what is given there. A specialist in the field of communication look at three factors when trying to determine what people really mean when they are speaking. So in this sentence, you read about the idea of communication. And please understand that the essay which you are going to read soon, that is from the field of communication. So what does communication mean? Communication means when people speak, when people listen, when they have conversation, when they talk. So uh, there are three factors to determine what people mean when they talk. When you say something, when we speak something, when people speak something to us, how do we decide what they are trying to say? Number one is the literal meaning of the words. We listen to what people are saying, and then we, we if necessary, consult dictionaries, or we understand the word meanings, and then we understand what they are trying to say. Number one, the literal meaning of the words, verbal element, that is, Please note down the verbal element of the conversation. The number two is the manner of speaking, how people say, for example, tone. What is tone? Tone is a quality in the voice that expresses the speaker's feeling or thought. The quality in the voice, often towards the person being spoken. Tone is actually the attitude you show Toward the subject matter or toward the person you are talking to. The tone can be used to convey a particular meaning or feeling of the speaker. Sometimes you may speak in such a way that people understand that you don't like them. Or sometimes you may speak in such a way that people think you deeply love them. That's tone. Then next, you have volume and pitch. 
what is volume and pitch the relative highness or lowness of tone as perceived by the ear right now as i'm speaking on this zoom platform uh, my my voice has a volume and pitch you may regard this as too loud or medium or low what is rhythm the sense of movement in speech which is marked by stress timing and quality of syllables this is more technical you can google further and stand or you can just leave it then tempo what is tempo the rate of speech or speaking rate it is a component of prosody and rhythm tempo is associated with the speech at which a person speaks now this is called the vocal element what is vocal element the tone is a vocal element the volume is a vocal element the pitch is a vocal element the rhythm is a vocal element the tempo is a vocal element so first you have the uh, uh, verbal element uh, then uh, which is called the literal meaning of words then you have the manner of speaking uh, which includes tone volume pitch tempo rhythm uh, which is known as the vocal element verbal element number 1 verbal element number 2 the vocal element now number 3 is the speaker's body movement uh, when i teach in the classroom you may have seen how i move my body how i walk around how i stand how i lean what is my facial expression how how uh, how i make eye contact with you how i smile what facial expressions i make all these make uh, the non verbal element right like body movement and facial expressions they make non verbal element meaning derived without using words this is also called body language and you know body language combines no down movement gesture posture that the speakers use eye contact facial expression right now when people have face to face conversation like in the classroom you have with your classmate sitting next to you they use both verbal element as well as non verbal element right when two of you talk then your conversation may have the verbal element your conversation may have the vocal element and your conversation may have the non verbal element sometimes there is more non verbal element sometimes there is more verbal element now now there is a, a question here write your answers in the blanks then share your answers with the rest of the class you can do this or you can you just omit it no problem now assignment in this video is note down the assignment and do it first assignment is write down the question what do you understand by reading as a process note down what do you understand by reading as a process what are the stages involved in reading process same question two parts what do you understand by reading process what are the stages involved in reading process now you answer this question write the second question what are pre reading activities what are pre reading activities question mark second part give some examples of common pre reading activities give some examples of common pre reading activities question number 3 question number 3 what are the three elements of communication what are the three elements of communication define each of them define each of them so you answer these three questions in writing and when you come to my class you submit a written answer to these questions okay now <coughs> i stop the video here uh it's a short video and uh, uh, uh i hope when you come to my class you come with the answer of the question i gave you here i stop in the next video 
I will talk about the section agreeing and 